Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it is June 10th and I'm gonna do a little vlog today. It's like nine in the morning. I just got showered and dressed and ready for the day. And this will probably end up being like a two day vlog. Honestly, I'm just gonna vlog the entire weekend because today's Saturday. But uh, yeah, yesterday I got a package in the mail from Delta Munchies. You guys already know what the fuck is up with Delta Munchies. I've made videos using their products for years now and it fucks me up. It fucks me up big time. <laughs> a few months ago, I did a video. Um, this is like everything they sent me. I did a video a few months ago on this fucking holy rope nerds rope. And they sent me another one. And I'm so glad they did. Because this thing, I ate like half of this. It's 1,200, almost 1,300 milligrams. I was so high. Like, I literally woke up high the next day. So, this weekend, like I said, it's Saturday. We're going to be fucking stoned all weekend. <laughs> I'm just going to smoke all this shit. So they sent me the holy rope. This is fucking awesome. It's Delta 9 full spectrum. And it fucks. And then they sent me a bunch of their double doinks. So this is strawberry jam, glazed donut, lemon cherry gelato. Glazed donut's actually a new one. I've not tried this flavor before. So I'm really excited. These are awesome. They're glazed with liquid diamonds. And uh, it's THCA infused pre-rolls with like it's coated in keef. It's like, they're intense as fuck. I love these and they smoke really good stuff. So I'm gonna smoke on this shit today and throughout the weekend. Specifically excited for this, uh, for this holy rope. These will make you meet God. I'm really curious about this glazed donut joint flavor. What the hell? This is right up my alley. I love weird shit like that. I hope it does, I hope it tastes like it. Once you open the package up, you got two joints in each pack and they come in these little plastic things. And look how much keef is just, coated on these fuckers there's so much and this is tha diamonds at the top there so let's spark this up see how it tastes cheers y'all these smoke really good too look at that shit it's literally like dripping off it you guys i'm gonna try to hit this thing with my nose i've seen people do that but i've never tried it i'm gonna see what the fuck happens Holy shit, I got a little out. I barely did it, but I did get a small hit through my nose. I didn't see like a dab through my nose on like a rig or something. That'd be crazy. Also, you guys, the cool thing about Delta Munchies is they're legal in all 50 states. So if you want to try these out, you can get it shipped directly to your door and you will enjoy it. I can guarantee that. I fucking love all their products. <laughs> Good, how are you? Good, what can I get you? Could I get a grande brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso? Yeah, what else? And that will be it. All right, 628. Thank you. You guys are probably fucking sick of watching me order Starbucks, but I don't care. <laughs> this is a part of my day every day. So it is what it is. Hell yeah. I already know I'm about to go to the bathroom after this. <laughs> so you guys, I just got my coffee, pulled up to one of my favorite little walking spots. I figured I'd start the day off here. It's a very pretty walking trail. And then after this, we'll get to go, go do some shopping. Um, this joint is the lemon cherry gelato one. This one's really nice. I figured I'd hotbox this a little bit and smoke it on my walk. There's a lot of people at this walking trail today, I'm not gonna lie. And I saw a sign that they're doing a 5K race on this walking trail because it's like a really popular like really nice walking trail and shit so um fuck it i'm gonna smoke my joint anyways <sighs> oh yeah this bitch is hidden <sighs> all right you guys i'm about to go on this damn walk got my joint lit i'm really excited this is gonna be nice oh my gosh you guys so we're on the walking trail and it's so busy today and i was trying to spark my joint earlier and this fucking old dude ran right around the corner as i was like lighting it it was just so awkward So for lunch, I decided to eat on the river. I like coming to this spot whenever I'm in town and 
options. I went to a restaurant that I've never been to before called Tomato Head. Um, I've always heard of this place and I've never had it. So I looked at their menu earlier and I saw this. <laughs> this shit looks so fucking good. Bro, look at this fucking sandwich. I also was looking in that Delta Munchies box that I had and they sent me a vape and I'm gonna rip the shit out of this while I eat. And I've used these before and they're really good. I've went through so many of these. This is Watermelon Gushers and it's a hybrid. It's a two gram dab car. And they taste really fucking good. <clears throat> I'm gonna tear into this. This looks so damn good. It's chicken, bacon, pesto cheese. Y'all, this is seriously a 10 out of 10 meal. Although it was kind of expensive, this shit was like 20 bucks. So I'm in this thrift store right now I've never been to, and I just found the most amazing thing. <laughs> How much is this shit? I might have to buy it. This is 20 fucking dollars. I think I need this. All right, you guys, so I finally made it back home. It's like eight o'clock at night, it's starting to get dark out. Today was kind of, I don't know if this vlog was even interesting. I kind of just like did influencer shit. I like went and got coffee, I did shopping and like pointless errands. And I know that's like annoying, but I just wanted to have like a nice day out and I did some shopping and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Tomorrow is Sunday and I plan to eat edibles all day tomorrow and stay inside and it's kind of chill. So tomorrow's gonna be more of a chill vlog. Um, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. I went to so many vintage stores trying to find like cool clothes. I really wanted like a new t-shirt for the summer. Um, just something like casual to throw on. I didn't find much, but I found this bitch and I'm so excited to wear this. It's so cute. So it's a vintage shirt. I don't know how old this is. If, oh my God, this is literally from 1997 and it's like actual Warner Bros. This is so cool. So this, it has Daffy Duck on the front and the pocket says, who, me? Stressed? <laughs> and it's like him ripping it up and it's like all embroidered on. I feel like wearing it with these jeans give it like a nice vintage -y look. Cause I also got these from a vintage store. But, oh yeah, very good find. After I went to the vintage store, I went to World Market. If you don't know what that is, it is a store that has like a bunch of foreign like foods and like cool house decor shit. But I always go there for their food. So they always have like imported like candy. So for example, this I found, this is from Venezuela. It's a potato chip chocolate bar. What the fuck? <laughs> like I had to buy this when I saw it. It's so unique. I've never seen anything like this. And then I found this, which is a Canadian candy called Coffee Crisp. I fucking love coffee flavored candy so much. So I bought these. I'm gonna try these with you guys. I'm gonna save it for tomorrow though when I'm really high off the edibles and shit. So that'll be exciting. And then I also bought some shit for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna be making my signature vegan Italian sausage. But you guys, I recently did a twist on it. For years and years, I've made this recipe with regular marinara. But a few weeks ago, I was wanting to switch it up. And I've always saw like vodka sauce at the store. So I bought it and I tried it with this, like my go-to recipe. Bro, fucking life-changing. I'll never use marinara again with this. Like this makes it taste so good and creamy. So I'm about to whip this up. I've not even ate that much shit today. I am starving. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna roll up a nice blunt. All right, you guys, so I got this shit cooking. My Italian sausage, this is gonna be so good. I also rolled up my blunt. This is my first blunt of the day. I've been smoking these Delta Munchie joints all day, which are good. They had me coasting all day. I felt nice and steady. Hi, chillaxed. I don't fucking know the goddamn word. Goddamn. Anyways, I'm gonna spark this blunt bitch because I will never get over blunts. I love blunts so fucking much. When I die, there better be a blunt in my casket. <laughs> like, I love them. There's just like something about cooking dinner at night and having a blunt while you cook dinner. It's like my favorite thing in the world is to cook and smoke a blunt. So that's what we're gonna do. Cheers.
All right, you guys, so I'm about to put this shit in the oven. What I do is combine the Italian sausage with the pasta in a big old pot like this. And then I take the sauce. Tonight I'm using the vodka sauce. Like I said, this shit is so fine. Pour that shit in there. Oh yeah. So after I mix everything up, I put it in a nice baking dish like this, put a shit ton of cheese on it, and I put some Italian breadcrumbs on top. So I'm just gonna throw it in the oven now for like five to 10 minutes and it'll be perfect. Yo. All right, you guys, look how fucking good this looks. So I like to, I like to get my hot sauce. Y'all know I love my Texas Pete and I drench it in it. It is, it makes it so good. I've not ate since I had that sandwich with you guys earlier. So I am starving. I've had two Starbucks drinks today. Actually, I don't even want to talk about it. Oh my God. This is so good. I've been eating this religiously since 2020 and I don't see myself ever stopping. Ooh, look at that cinematic shit. Alright you guys, so, made it to the top of the mountain. As you can see, it's really pretty. It's not raining too hard right now. It's just kind of like drizzling a little bit, but it's a really foggy morning. It's a little chilly, but back there is actually the town I was born in. So it like overlooks it, which is really cool, but I'm gonna eat some of this edible. The 1250 milligram Nerds Rub. This shit is terrifying. So I'm gonna take a good bite of this. Rest in peace, me. All right, you guys, just finished the hike. Christian is gonna drive us back home because holy shit. The hike probably didn't look like much to you guys, but um, it always kicks my ass. All right, so now that the hike's over, Christian's gonna drive us home and uh, I feel kinda high from that edible that I took, like already. <laughs> I feel like I smoked like an entire blunt. That's like a good way to put it. It's not like too dramatic. But I mean like, I only took one bite. So it's pretty good. If I ate the whole thing, I'd be fucked right now. So throughout the day, I'm gonna casually snack on that and uh, eat that shit. Oh my God. You guys, that shit has seriously had me so fucking high. I don't know if you can tell on camera how red my eyes are, but, oh my god. I barely even ate that much of it, is the thing. Like, oh my. You guys, holy fucking shit. It is literally like six o'clock in the day. The last thing I recorded was at two. And then I lay down in bed and I literally fell asleep. And I literally slept for like three hours or something. I slept pretty much right through the entire day. Um, and I literally had my shoes on the entire time I was asleep. Because <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I, I got so tired all of a sudden and like really high. I didn't even eat that much of that edible and I'm so high. Um, but I'm about to cook dinner. Like I literally just woke up. And I'm gonna cook dinner. And I'm gonna make chicken enchilada dip. So I got some ground chicken, and some cheese, some enchilada sauce, black beans and corn. And I'm gonna um, cook this shit up. It's a pretty fire fucking dish. <laughs> See ya. I kinda wanna go ahead and try one of these chocolates with you guys. These have been in the fridge all night. I'm gonna save this potato chip one for later, but I am gonna try this coffee crisp. It looks really good. And I need it right now. Mm, that's far.
is done. This shit looks so fucking good. I have made this a few times and I really enjoyed it every time I made it. It's uh, good for when you're fried because it's a nice finger food. That's what I like. It's my favorite shit. Like dips and stuff. Mm. I put some jalapenos and sour cream on top. You guys, I seriously can't believe I slept pretty much all day. Good morning, you guys. So it is the next day. Uh, it's like 9.30 in the morning and I just come on my balcony on my front porch. Um, well, it's a balcony, but I came on here to have a nice little wake and bake with y'all. So this is the Delta Munchies Strawberry Jam Double Doinks, coated in Keef and shit. This, these are awesome. Perfect way to start your day. Also, I ran to the gas station and got a nice coffee. And I literally have drank this much and already had to go take a shit, a giant shit. <laughs> like, holy fuck. Guys, I thought it'd be cool if I started today's part of the vlog out on my balcony. Um, I never really record out here that much, but I come out here to smoke all the time and I love it so much because we live in the downtown part of my city and it's just in a really good spot and I come out here and just like watch the cars drive by and shit all day and I'll smoke. I've been wearing my merch every single day since I got it. These hoodies are so comfy and I love the color of this. I'm wearing it with these like brown striped pants. Let me show y'all. These dicky pants with this hoodie is such a good cozy comfy look, especially on like rainy days. So I'm actually in the middle of cooking some turkey sausage and some oatmeal for breakfast because I'm about to eat some more of this rope. Like I said, there's quite a bit of it left and it says to eat on a full stomach. And I ate it on a full stomach yesterday and y'all saw what the fuck happened to me. Knocked my ass out. <laughs> so I'm making sure I get some food in me and then I'm gonna dive back into this fucking thing. Cause it's kicking my ass and I don't want it to kick my ass. I'm trying to kick its ass, you know? <laughs> These are no joke. So I just had breakfast, it was really tasty, and I'm at my computer desk now, and I'm gonna go ahead and tear into these. Let me see what time it is. It's 11.30 in the morning, so it's almost noon, and let's see, there's about a little over half left. I didn't eat that much yesterday, but I almost ate half of it, and that shit destroyed me, so let's get right back into it. <laughs> that little bylone is enough to like, have you fucked up? Let me just say that. So I'm gonna save the rest of this for later on in the day. It's been about an hour since I ate those edibles. It's about 12.30 now and I'm definitely feeling it, although I'm not super, super obliterated. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat some more of this. So you guys, I, oh my God, my cat, Pusay. Hey, pretty boy, what are you doing? You guys, I'm so glad that I got him. I adopted him when I was in Denver and uh, we drove all the way across the country together. His nicknames are Mr. Pooh, Pusay, Poopy Boy, crazy ass bitch, cause he is so crazy, you guys. He'll just like fucking run up on, oh my God, see? <sighs> crazy. I told you he's fucking crazy, <laughs> but I love him for, love him for that. I love a mean, mean ass cat. So you guys, it's been about nine months since I moved into this new apartment and I've decorated it a lot and it looks so good. And I kind of want to show you guys around and give you guys like a mini tour of it. So you guys are more familiar with the space. Cause I feel like it's cool when YouTubers do that. So you kind of like know their house. I don't know. So obviously these doors right here are leading onto the balcony and this is the living room area. I have it really nice decorated. We got, you know, our couches, our entertainment center, our TV, some posters, record players. And then I have like my bong collection over there and that's a closet. Um, and then this is our computer side. As you can see the B fit, like this was supposed to say blaze, <laughs> but the B keeps falling off. So I'm going to get like another command strip and fix that. This is my computer gaming setup station and then this is christian's side which we got to get some more posters and decorations to put up here we got the sword which is pretty badass as i said earlier he's at work right now so um it's just me home 
And yeah, this is something I'm obsessed with, which is Lego flowers. This just makes it look so much better in here, like the entertainment center, I love it. This is some Series of Unfortunate Events books, which is also pretty cool. We got some vinyls over here. Got this cool ass ashtray. Um, you guys, look at this. So I've never shown this off in a video before, but like a year or two ago, the CEO of Raw sent me this and it's like this cool container with Raw dominoes in it and it's like what the fuck i've never even taken it out of the plastic before it's just like so cool and unique i almost don't want to take it out so i keep that down there it's like a decoration <laughs> and then in here is the bedroom which Pousse is currently chilling on what are you doing little man you enjoying the bed and I'm actually in the middle of washing all the sheets and stuff right now, so it doesn't look that cute. But got our other TV in here with our dresser. And then these are the stairs that go down. And then there's like another door down there to exit. This is our bathroom. I recently painted it white and I got this new shower curtain, which is really cute. And then in here is the kitchen, which I also recently just repainted and it's green and pink and i'm just like obsessed with it i think it looks so cute in here i'm thinking about painting these fridge handles green to like go with it i think that'll look nice but yeah the kitchen's cute got my nice rugs got my cat clock over here obviously my apartment's not some huge giant special like fancy apartment but i i love where i live and i'm really happy with it and if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't have this place so thank you <laughs> thank you for watching and supporting I guess I was talking about this last night, but I said that I really miss like 2020 weed tube era. And honestly, I feel like the 2016 through 2020 was like the best time for weed tube. And I miss that so much. Like I used to watch Groovy Mac in like 2016, 17 all the time. And he's who like really made me want to start smoking. And it's just like, I miss those days, you know? All right, you guys. So it is now like five or six o'clock. It's been a few hours since I last updated y'all. And I've seriously been high as fuck all day like my eyes have been red all day i've not even smoked a blunt today or a joint besides that one i did this morning and i've not craved weed because i've literally been fucking high all day from those bites that i've had but it's been a good one it's not been like it's just been like a really steady high it's not been like dramatic or anything i've just like been in a really good mood all day but i brung the rest of this i'm gonna eat it Okay guys, so I've officially ate this entire nerd's rope and I suspect in an hour or two, I'm gonna be really, really fucking high. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but it's okay. It's like 6, 6.30, it's almost dinner time and I like eating dinner really stoned, uh, playing some video games or watching something on TV. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. you guys so we're about halfway through this hike and holy shit the edibles are slowly kicking in the more i walk just the more high i get it's been about 20 minutes since i ate them probably all right you guys so it is about 8 30 now and i just made dinner we got some kimchi rice with chicken and broccoli and cheese and hot sauce this is probably one of my favorite meals. It's so fulfilling and it's good when you're high. 